Beneath these tranquil waves lies a creature of breathtaking power and intrigue, an apex predator so skilled and intelligent that it commands the respect of the ocean. Meet the orca, or as they prefer to be called, the ocean's ultimate hunters. Because honestly, the nickname Killer sounds a bit harsh for such a complex and majestic being. And yet, as the story unfolds, you'll understand why they are known to the world as the Killer Whale. Orcas are the ocean's ultimate hunters, combining brains, brawn, and the kind of teamwork that would make your corporate team building retreat look like amateur hour. These marine mammals aren't just hunters, they're strategists. Think of them as the Navy SEALs of the sea, minus the camouflage. First, let's clear up a common misconception Orcas are not whales. Shocking, right? Despite being nicknamed killer whales, they are the largest members of the dolphin family. So yes, Flipper's badass cousin dominates the ocean while Flipper, well, flips. But here's the twist. Despite their dolphin lineage, orcas are also technically considered whales. The term whale applies broadly to all cetaceans, which include dolphins, porpoises, and larger whales. The name killer whale is believed to come from the 18th century Spanish sailors who called them balena asesina, meaning whale killer, because they were seen hunting larger whales. Talk about a complicated family tree. These creatures are not just muscle-bound hunters. They're also incredibly social. Orcas live in pods, which are like tight-knit families. And just like human families, some pods stick to traditional diets, while others are adventurous foodies. In some pods, hunting techniques and preferences are passed down through generations, almost like culinary traditions. It's fascinating to see how their behavior reflects both adaptability and deep-rooted culture. Take the orcas in Antarctica, for example. They've turned seal hunting into an art form. When a seal is perched on an ice floe, they create waves by swimming in perfect unison, literally washing their prey off its icy pedestal. It's like synchronized swimming, but terrifying. What's more, they've been observed testing the ice first, showing an impressive level of problem solving. It's a chilling reminder of their intelligence and precision. Orcas also specialize in fish whacking. This is where they stun fish with powerful tail slaps, effectively turning dinner into a self-serve buffet. And you thought your local sushi joint was impressive. This technique ensures minimal effort for maximum reward, showcasing their ability to hunt efficiently. Their teamwork often resembles a choreographed routine, leaving no fish unaccounted for. Their intelligence is off the charts. Orcas use spy hopping to scope out their surroundings, popping their heads above water like marine periscopes. You can almost hear them thinking, hmm, what's on the menu today? This behavior is especially useful in icy waters, where visibility below the surface can be limited. It's just one example of how orcas adapt their skills to different environments. And if you think sharks are the ocean's apex predators, think again. Orcas have been known to take down great whites. How? They flip the shark upside down, inducing a state called tonic 
immobility. It's the underwater equivalent of pressing the off button. Ruthless and efficient. Communication is key for these ocean masterminds. Each pod has its unique dialect, like a family secret code. Imagine if you could tell where someone was from just by the way they said, pass the salt. But let's not forget their softer side. Orcas are devoted parents. Mothers nurse their calves for up to two years, teaching them everything from hunting techniques to pod etiquette. It's like marine homeschooling, only with fewer math problems and more fish. Calves are also known to stay with their mothers well into adulthood, showing the enduring bond of these remarkable family units. Male orcas in particular often remain with their mothers for life, a testament to the strength of family ties in these pods. Watching these interactions gives us a glimpse of the emotional depth these animals possess. These incredible creatures remind us of the ocean's mystery and majesty. So the next time you gaze at the sea, remember, beneath those waves, orcas are out there, hunting, playing, and living their extraordinary lives. They are a reminder of both the beauty and fragility of our natural world, urging us to protect it for generations to come. Now, it's time to see how much you've learned from today's episode. We've got three fun trivia questions coming up. Ready? Let's start. Question one. What family do orcas belong to? The correct answer is B. Dolphin family. Despite their nickname, killer whales, orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family. Let's go to the next question. Question two. What technique do orcas use to hunt great white sharks? The correct answer is B. Tonic immobility. Orcas flip sharks upside down to induce tonic immobility, a state where the shark becomes temporarily immobilized. And for our last question, question three, how do orcas communicate within their pods? If you answered B through unique dialects, that is right, each pod of orcas has a unique dialect, allowing them to communicate and maintain strong social bonds. Great job if you've got all three correct. If you missed one, don't worry. Now you know more about the extraordinary orca, a creature that embodies the perfect blend of intelligence, power, and social complexity. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.